Wish I was too dead to cry A self-affliction fail Stone Sour, who are currently getting rave reviews for their energetic live performances on the Family Values Tour, scored a top five debut on the Billboard 200 chart for an amazing first week of sales for their second album, Come Whatever May. By scanning over 80,000 in the first week alone, Come Whatever May has landed at number four on the Billboard chart. We caught up with Corey Taylor, Stone Sour and Slipknot's lead vocalist, to discuss the band's thoughts on their debut, and it was interesting to find out Taylor knows it's not about the first week, but having longevity as a band in the industry. That we, we, uh, we were pretty excited about the first week, you know, um, but in our minds it was just, you know, the first step of many, you know. Um, you know, in, in this business, you know, everybody makes such a big deal out of the first week, and what they should be making a huge deal out of is like the 32nd week, you know, and that's, I mean, that's the name of the game anymore is longevity in a, in a business where it, that used to be the way it was, you know, it's a, it's a lost commodity. So w our whole plan is just to, just to keep this going, you know, I mean, first week was great, but what about the 10th week? What about the 20th week? You know, so we just want to keep it going. Stone Sour will be performing on the Family Values Tour with Korn, The Deftones, Flyleaf, and Duran Gray until September 22nd in Virginia. The tour has been setting record numbers for sales by featuring some of metal's hottest bands. Look for Stone Sour to continue to tour in support of Come Whatever May, as both guitarist James Root and vocalist Corey Taylor take another year off from their respective day jobs with Slipknot.